This is Ader, and welcome to the Bedford Hangout. In this episode, we'll be discussing the price drop in the Steam market for PUBG items. We'll also be discussing the recent increase in the amount of PUBG hackers and how they are ruining the game. So today, we're going to be joined by Colby and Josh. Hi, hey. welcome to the Bedford Hangout. This is Colby. Hey, this is Josh. Yeah, how are you guys all doing today? Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Long awkward pause. <laughs> <laughs> to think we'll have a perfect bloopers episode. <laughs> that, I think there'll be more bloopers episodes than that episode. <laughs> All right, so let's 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 do this. Oh wait, wait, wait! Ice, so, uh, ice, ice. Josh, stop ordering stuff on Amazon. We're recording. You have an addiction. Yes, I do. Just because you have a PayPal doesn't mean you're cool. I have PayPal. Actually, these are Amazon gift cards. We all have PayPal. Oh, oh, that's even better. Yeah. Oh, Colby, you still want another five bucks, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll just do that during the call. <laughs> <Yeah. should. laughs> yes, my Facebook transaction is number and social security <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's how we get money. We we ask for Josh. We ask Josh for five dollars, then we buy two keys, and then we yeah, open Desperado right. crates. Yes. Yep. Oh, and then we lose money because the, the price has dropped. Drops. Yeah, so Josh, do you want to explain about your, your $60 jacket that you lost all the profit for? All right, so talking about his jacket, it was $60 when he first got yeah, it. Yeah, it was, and then a few it was $60. Weeks, like, a few days ago, it just dropped right down to like 15 Hey, check this out. You know that uh, cloth mask leopard? Oh, yeah, it's um, $300. Yeah, it's $350 right now. Yeah, it was It was almost $1,900. The, the most right. expensive I think it was thing on the Steam market. It was worth more than like any uh -huh, CS:GO nice. item. Yeah, and then it just plummeted because so many people got them. The rarity just decreased. I mean, not 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 necessarily that not necessarily that they were getting them, but they, there was this concept where you get one Desperado crate and you get one key. You open that crate. And no matter what it is, you make profit. So you sell your stuff on the Steam market, you get another crate and another key, and you keep exactly. doing that. You keep doing and that. You, so you buy a hundred crates at a time, and you open a hundred items, and you sell a hundred items at a time. And you're exactly. Making profit, and you just keep making profit until uh, you stop playing PUBG, and then you're like, oh, I can buy three hundred more sixty dollars games. Do, do you know how much my checkered jacket is going for right now? Fifteen. Eleven dollars. So it's dropping even more. It's dropping. And do you remember? Wasn't it like seventy when you first got it? it yes, 60? it was seventy-five on Bitskin. What about sixty on Steam? What about the Steam market? Yeah, sixty. Yeah, yeah, 60 yeah I think it was just sixty on Steam. Do we know why this price drop is happening? Well, the rarity of all the items have just decreased. Like the Desperado crates, they were almost four dollars. They were like four dollars and some cents. Yeah, so now they're I, now they right now. When I went to go sell one. Right now, it's a it's two dollars even. The biker crates. They're almost as much as biker crates. The biker crates are a dollar twenty-eight. And mm -hmm. the biker crates don't even need a key. They don't even have good stuff compared to the Esperado crates. But then the, it's you know how there was all profit. Every single item, even the worst item, was a profit item. Exactly. Now nothing is profit. Well, like people, people minimal like stuff is profit. Using it as like a cash grind, and I don't like it. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Because people, what they would do is they would buy, like, 10 crates, 10 keys, unbox it all. They'd say, oh, yeah, profit. made a huge profit, and then they'd end up selling it all. And then people, like, the rarity of it on the Steam market would just decrease. Like, before, only one person had the leopard cloth mask. Now 68 people have bought it. Yeah, and the uh, leather jacket. Like, that, the leather jackets? That was 1,280 yeah, before. Yeah. What is it now, and then, 370? 274. 200, even the more. white one's 274. Oh, really? Yeah, the oh, black oh, one's uh, 220. Just pop up the Steam market right now. We'll start talking about the prices. Yeah, that's what I'm up on. Yeah. Like, the cheapest well, thing, though, is still 4 cents, and that's like a striped t shirt. So, like, the cheaper stuff hasn't dropped. The most expensive item I have was the pump knuckle red gloves. And I got those for my first crate. Thank you, Josh. Well, and, uh,. How much were they worth? Like, they were 20 bucks, weren't they? Yeah, they were like 20 bucks. They were 14. Now. Oh. I'm gonna like $1.29. Yeah, or like $1.91. Uh, like, that's not even enough to buy another key. I mean, I could, I could at least buy Rocket League with 
eleven dollars, but no, no, I can't even buy Rocket League with eleven dollars. It's twenty. Another topic well, like, is all the... the Steam Guard stuff. Oh yeah, so with uh. the Steam Guard, like I, it says that I make I make a valid purchase. It's not thirty days old yet, so I can't use the Steam Market. So, is your Steam account relatively new? It well, was made December twenty fifth. Just Steam Guard in general to us is relatively new. We've like had Steam accounts for enough time, but we haven't set up Steam Guard. Yeah, like all of a sudden one day I went to go buy, uh, sell sell one of my items on Steam, and it's like, oh, you must be using the Steam Authenticator for seven days. Yeah, yeah. it's like, and yeah, because like, okay, what is the Steam Authenticator? You give me no information, Gaben. Where's the information? How do I do this, Gaben? So I looked it Gaben. up, and you have to download the Steam app, and then go to Steam mm-hmm. Guard. Use this authenticator. So every time you sign into your account, it asks. Yeah, it, it comes up with a code every. And then you guys know it, it's like a like every seven code. seconds, and it's yeah. like a five-digit code every five seconds. There's like a new one, so you have to type in that five-digit code in five seconds. Let it enter in. If so, if you have bad Wi-Fi, then you're screwed. Because if you got to enter that code, you get like seven seconds. That's it. Yeah. And then I'm actually gonna go ahead. And... Go ahead and time this right now. I'm gonna open my Steam Authenticator and see. Oh, maybe it was like 14 seconds. I think it was like 10, but uh, one. I know it wasn't two, five. Three. Yeah, five. Four, five. Six. You're timing it right now. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 22. <laughs> well, there goes our five seconds. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 seconds. Wait, my... I'm going to count that. I've already done an entire Buckeye cable speed test on my Wi-Fi, so... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you counted 30 seconds? I opened, yeah. my, I opened my Steam Authenticator halfway through you were talking about that, and the Steam Authenticator, like, changed right when you said 30. Yeah. So I think it's universal. Hey, uh, Colby, how about you tell me your Steam Authenticator real quick? Oh yeah, here we go. Hold on. <laughs> we still need the password. That's the thing. Yeah, thirty seconds. Here, let's see if uh, someone at the NSA can get it. Yeah. <laughs> why don't we just tell it on the stream? All right. All in all in caps. T N G D F J D F. H Q Q nine B. Yeah, go ahead and log into my Steam account now, guys. T N J D F. Authenticator. You have thirty seconds left. No, with the Authenticator, all they need is your email, and they can get it. Oh, um, they need to... No, yeah. you still need a password. Yeah, I was gonna say they they need your email password. So regardless of the the new Steam Guard, it's not only just the the thirty second type in the code. You have to be using that code for seven days, and you have to actively be using it. Right now, it says my pump knuckle pump knuckle gloves will be marketable at the twenty second at seven o'clock. So that means. A week before that seven o'clock mark is when I got the authenticator, and that was beautiful. Not tradable, not marketable. Beautiful is a strong word. I needed that. <laughs> so, also trading things. If you cancel a trade, like uh, Colby, we were trying to trade an item, mm-hmm. and yeah, and then you didn't have the Steam app before that, so then you had no way to confirm the purchase. So once you downloaded it. <laughs> You or the, you had no way to confirm the trade. So once you downloaded it, it was too late, and there was no like under the confirmation tab. You didn't get a confirmation. So what we had to do was yeah. to cancel that trade. Now I can't trade with Colby because that because he didn't have the app like beforehand. So he had no way to confirm it. So now we're on a trade lock for seven days because we had to cancel it because he had no way to confirm it. Mm-hmm. That's another garbage thing here. How long do you have to wait for your uh? 30 day valid purchase. 20 I have I have to wait till the 24th before my Steam Guard finally actually wants to work. I have to wait till the 25th before I can do anything on the market. The 25th at 10:16 a p.m. and 9 seconds. Oh, but what is this? It says my school shoes. They are tradable and marketable. Let's go ahead and sell them. Let's see if that works. They sell for 9 cents. So, <laughs> buyer pays point zero nine, and I make point zero seven. I'm gonna agree to the terms and put this up for sale. And aha, okay. So my gloves—they told me that I needed to do the authenticator, but this 
like it, it it's like yeah go ahead and sell it and then when you go ahead and sell it it says in order to list the item on the community market you must verify the you must confirm oh never mind okay so it wants me to confirm it what do you know it's letting me <laughs> sell them whoa no, wait wait what did you do create listing so whoa it it just let me sell sell them wait so wait wait are they actually in the steam market now yeah let me check Player knows Battlegrounds, let's crazy. go to... Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go to the market right now. It actually just let me sell them. So why was it not letting us sell any other item? Wait, wait, okay, so startup, what did you do? It won't let me sell my, my gloves, but it, it just let me so sell my school shoes for nine cents. How did you do that? I just went into my inventory and sold it like you normally do. Like, where do you go to your inventory? You go to... You go to inventory, and then you click PUBG. Yeah, see, my list... Oh, is... like, in PUBG, the oh, actual... I... No! <laughs> you click on Sabin Gecko, and then you click Inventory. <clears throat> okay. School Shoes Brown, 8 cents. I'm selling mine for 9. Yeah, well, nobody cares. These are for sale for 8 cents. Oh, for sale starting at 9 cents. 5,495. Yeah. So you go to your inventory, and then you go to where? <laughs> yeah, I'm in my inventory. I went to Player Unknown Backgrounds. You I'm clicking up. You click on an item and you sell it. Correct. It's not gonna I'm... let you because you haven't been using the Authenticator for seven days. Ah, <gasps> buttholes. It wasn't. That's weird. It only let me sell my school shoes. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna put on screen the actual footage of a hacker. And you guys can go ahead and report this guy, because seriously, it was crazy. So we were in a match. I jumped out of the sky at the last minute, so there was people already dying. Like, there was already firefights going on, like, uh, if you jumped out first. So Wait, I'm already on the other side of the map. No, no, I'm explaining, I'm explaining this, this hacker scenario. Okay. So, the, so the, the first zone was right over military base. So I grabbed stuff, I grabbed a buggy, and I headed to military base. Crossed the bridge. By the time I got there, there was only 30 people left. Then 29, 28, and then like, it was like pairs of two people dying at the exact same time. I didn't pay attention to the kill feed, but after I looked back at the footage, like you could see it was the same guy. Yeah, he was just like spraying and praying with an auto M4. And... Yeah, he had an M4 on auto. So what happened was I crossed the bridge to the military base, I hid in this little shack, and it decreased from 10 people to 5 people, and it was the second zone. The second zone had just started. Like, it didn't even come in yet. And then, out of nowhere, I come out. Colby literally just said, you're going to die. Mm -hmm. And then two seconds later, I die. Like, I'll show you the footage right now. Putting it on screen right now. It's like a Car 98K or something. A Mini 14. Fully decked out Tommy Gun. <laughs> Let's go. My M4 is a dot on it. A stock. Uh, cause then a quick draw on a... Vertical grip. Five alive! Second circle! Five alive! You're gonna die soon. <gasps> Why'd you say that? Because it's you. No, I walked out and just shot and died. died. Did, you, or did you really just die? Yeah, and now there's three people left and it's a second circle. Right when you said you're gonna die, I got killed by an M4. Ah, uh, I know what's gonna happen. You were gonna die. <gasps> and so uh, a few weeks ago, there was a situation where we we're in a squad match. Chase, me, or oh, yeah, you guys don't know Chase yet. Chase, Josh, and I, I think, or it was Chase, Colin, yeah. and I. No, it was Chase. Uh, it was Chase posted it too in the PUBG squad. Well, I, I don't know who the last person was. Uh, we we're in a three-man squad match, and we were set. We all had good stuff. We were heading into the zone, and this guy behind a car with a full-auto suppressed AK and no sights just started uh -huh. spraying into the air and took out our, all three of us. Yeah, it wasn't even scoped in. Just yeah, spray, just spray. Yeah, that, that was my situation, too. wasn't <clears throat> even aimed in. He just, like, sprayed and prayed in, like, a 180-degree direction and killed two people me included, along with Chase, and then he looked in, like, to his left, and then killed another two people. I think 
Is there like some sort of program out there that it's like paid hacks? You can yes. you can yeah. buy the hacks. There's, yeah, super like, easy. If you go through Instagram long enough, you'll find people saying, "Hey, you need a hacked Black Ops Three account. You need a hacked Fortnite account, or whatever." Okay, let's and see. Seriously, you'll find Battlegrounds. Buy the hacks. Hacks. Steam your Steam account. Steam you can buy it for your account. So, PUBG hack fe features name ESP. See the name of every player everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wall hack. See enemy behind all walls. Always win. Aimbot. Hot Seriously. Enemy that you need. Always see the enemy and stay near centered zones. Vehicle hits. Run over more people by always being able to see them running for the new zone. Zone surprises. Wait for the next zone. Wait for the new zone and kill someone right as they make it inside. Undetected, not detectable by battle eye or anti cheat measures. But what about death cam? But what about it? Yeah. So this is just one website. You guys can go ahead and report this way website. It's www.iwantcheats.net. Get rid of them, please. Really? Game hack. Download now. Okay, so it's actually just a download. <laughs> No way. Is it really? I think we should delete it just to prove how bad it is, or use it just to prove how bad it is. What is it? www.iwantcheats.com? Okay, .net. We need to go into a private match and check. So it's a net? Yeah. Oh, I just thought I catch want We are not promoting this site at all. Not at all. Please just get rid of it. We just want to see if this is for real. Like, if it straight up does it. Oh, you have to buy it through PayPal. Okay, Josh, send us money. No, no, <laughs> Josh, <laughs> no, <laughs> nope. Josh is forget about it. Money on his PayPal. Oh, wait, hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up. I want cheats.net, the number one rated cheat website in the world. So, all right, I'm I'm on the page right now. Is so, a world full of cheaters? Does anybody really win? You will have a player known. Oh, will you have a player known battlegrounds aimbot? Will not be including an aimbot. It's a hack because they are too easy to detect. Other websites, oh. which offered them, get caught and people get banned too easy. The current features we have in this site works listed listed below: name ESP, wall hack, always win, vehicle hits, zone surprises, and undetected. I read that part. Uh, our player knows battleground hacks are the most popular and only VIP cheats offered to everyone around the world. So they make they're trying. So the more P the this more is, people this is unbelievable they're they're trying to make it so like it's not it's, it's like a, a profitable n s a yeah they're trying so not only like are there people using the aimbot it's ridiculous but they're but selling it to people, people around the world there's people that are using other hacks that you can't even see in the death cam yeah uh -huh. that's what uh this um undetected does the anti cheat measures would be was is included in the death cam how much does it cost <laughs> <laughs> i can check I, uh, I'm, actually, I'm actually curious I just your want... order security guaranteed by paypal by now all right i'm clicking on this don't be a scam so this this show is not going to only be about pubg right it's going to be we're going to do a bunch of games right we're going to uh, do probably rocket league csgo okay. once we all have it all games minecraft like Rainbow no. Six Siege, even maybe. You guys can get that. I need to get that. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want us to play a specific game, uh, we'll we'll be for it. Just post it in the comments. No, not not necessarily in the comments. You can do that, but if you post it directly under the YouTube discussion, on under the channel, you can go to this discussion tab. Post it there. Everyone, all of us can see it. We all have access to the YouTube channel. So leave suggestions for us and what type of content you want to see from us later. This is a podcast, so don't tell us to make videos no it's a well we we can make videos we can. i mean I, well, I'm, ad I'm adding you, clips of the hackers do like the occasional live stream or something like that yeah but. occasional live stream sundays something like that give us a time and let us know your guys's time zone of when we can post and when you would like to see us stream so thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys next time